Okay, so here we are to 1 f of x, y is x squared by q. The rate of change with respect to y is a rate of change in this direction because that's your y direction. I haven't drawn the x and y axes because right now I want to think of this as being a very small, tiny, little, minuscule neighborhood of the point 0.21 so that the origin might be 30 feet that way, okay? So what is the rate of change? Well, it's a partial of f with respect to y evaluated at this point. Okay? Well, if you evaluate the rate of change, well, now there's another notation that I'm going to use. Okay, I'll use both notations here. We'll say that partial of f with respect to y as we calculated, but let's think it through again. Hold x constant, take the derivative with respect to y, you're going to get 3y squared, and that'll be times x squared. Okay? Other notation. F sub y means the same thing that this does. And that's a little more compact, and that's the way I'll probably put it on documents because I don't have a reliable way to get a partial derivative sign to represent. Don't have a good partial derivative sign available in HTML, at least not one that every browser will automatically uh, do correctly. Okay? Actually, I might, but I, the, the, the small delta um, isn't a good symbol to use. It doesn't quite look right. Okay, so I'm gonna, I, I'll probably use subscripts up to y. Uh, well, at the point two one f y equals, we're getting used to that twelve. Okay, that's very simple, right? So. f y equals 12. Right? Now, f x means, well, partial of f with respect to x, and we know that's 2 x y cubed. Did I do that right before? Yeah. Okay. Okay, fx equals 4. So, use a different color to distinguish directions, otherwise things are going to get awfully ambiguous. Okay, well, so what should be the value of this function at the point 2.1, 1.2? 1 
Now, where's the point 2.11.2? Maybe to change that point. Yeah, you know. Nah, I really like 2.11.2. Okay, 2.1, that's your x coordinate, right? It's going to be a little bit to the right of this. And 1.2 would be, well, 0.2 units, twice as many units here. Okay? Let's estimate the value of f of 2.11.2. Okay? Well, there's the point. So let's go ahead and say this is 2.1. 1.2 sneak an arrow in there somehow. Read all this cluttered writing. Should have started in the middle of the board and expanded out, but I don't have that much foresight. Okay. Well, this means that to get from this point to this point, we can go over point one unit and up point two units, right? So let me 